Welcome back, it's Bubbleanius. I've added two new categories, food and miscellaneous. Those extended the existing categories, so we have a sink, you can right click and it's going to turn on and off. You, you have a toilet. I've also added these and just take a look at the rest. So in technology, so we have the keypad logs to demonstrate. So you can set the password. So for example, I can say it to be uh, something like 3001. Now it's set. If I enter anything else, it will not work. And of course, it can also contain zeros. So I enter it again. I I think it was this. Yeah, and it opens for 30 ticks. Now you have a retina scanner. It basically only works on you. However, if I get ahead of another player, I can equip it and then register it for this head. So now if I take the mask off, it's not going to work. So you can disguise as other players, basically impersonate them. Then you have an item scanner, which basically takes any items that you have and registers it. Once it registered, it's going to be glowing over here. And now I can only use this specific item. Of course, I can get another motion sensor, but it's sensitive to item tag. So you can use it even to add something like uh, a key. Right, so I could place and register it for only pink keys. Now, next one is a laser block. To demonstrate this block, I'm gonna get nano glasses, which is a new uh, glass, so you can equip them. What they do is they let you see the laser. You can see that it extends. It can be hidden behind the wall. However, if it has an obstacle, it's going to not detect it over here. So if I go to survival, it will simply activate whenever I go through. It has very good hitbox detection, so if I were to sneak underneath here, it would not detect me because it only checks for one block's width. So basically, if I, this is the area that it looks for. So it's really nice, it can be used in maps. Then we have a security alarm block, which can be used in combination, actually. You can hear that it produces this alarm sound. There is a calculator, which is just decoration. We also have a computer. You can right click it with shift and it's going to boot up. And then it's going to be just this screen. And so it doesn't really do much, but it exists. Then we have the motion sensor around. It remembers the owner. And if it sees any other player around six blocks, it will alert. I will simulate this behavior. This is the effect that it produces. It also notifies the owner that there was something around it. There is also an electrical box, flashlight, crowbar and a battery. Now, it doesn't really do anything. You can toggle it on and off. It's more for map makers. And we also have a flashlight. I'm going to demonstrate it by saying midnight. And now if I right click, if I were to speed this time up, you can see that as time passes, it decreases brightness, so it becomes more dim. Once it runs out of battery, it's, it's going to use this item, which is a battery. There is also a crowbar, which is it's just a stone pickaxe, but retextured to a crowbar. Then we have food. Now, all foods are pretty simple. You can eat them, and that's really really about that there is nothing else now beer bottles have 16 variants of each color then we have miscellaneous which is a pretty random category it includes basically everything that didn't fit into main category so you have a hatch before this i'm gonna put a ladder over here and now i can uh, i can place it on top now i can't go through but if I right click I can go down I can close and it's pretty dark when I open it becomes bright and I can get out of it then we have these which rotate facing you you have poles which are used for road signs there is the park sign and then all the different directions 
So box is just a container. You have the vending machine, which can be extended. So by default, it's just one. It can extend horizontally as well as vertically. So you can build any sized vending machine. I could like, like so. It doesn't really do anything. It's just a decoration block. You also have cups, a clipboard, a plate which can store items inside. You also have speakers, which they just they don't do anything either. You have the alarm clock. And then you have a bear trap. Now bear traps actually work. Uh, you just get caught and then if you walk on top of it, you're gonna get caught and that's about all it does. So I can't leave right now, even if I spam a shift or a space. And then it's going to release me eventually. Now, window boards can connect together. So if I just break around, you can see that they stack very nicely. And you can put them like this, like so, or like so. Basically, whatever you want. Loudspeaker doesn't do anything, just decoration and umbrella. If you hold right click, you can slowly descend downwards. Right, so that's about all the blocks. I also added a menu. So I can do a function menu. And so if I were to change language to something like Italian, you can see that it's going to show that the translator is F breakdance 30. So you can show debug information, which will basically show this through screen. You can also copy the text and then you can paste it in somewhere like in Discord and it's going to automatically highlight everything with color and just look pretty nice. For people who report bugs or issues, it's just easier to just click copy rather than having to look up what server they use, etc. It can detect bucket, uh, forge, and paper MC. So it's useful for me to know what server the player is running whenever they report an issue. You can also click on install installed packs, it will display the screen. Now there are also settings. So if I open, all of them have explicit descriptions. So for example, the barrier trap cooldown, I can change it to something like 500. Now, if I reopen the menu, you can see that it's indeed 500 or you can set it to something like 10. So now if I get inside of a trap, it will be very quick to release me. Now you can also disable cameras. You can fix cameras in place. So if I place a camera, it will be facing a certain direction, which I can of course link in the view. So now I can't really rotate the camera. However, if I go to settings and I disable the settings, you can see that it's going to start spinning around. You can also disable cameras, so if I do this, you can see that it... I will not be able to enter any cameras now. There is also increased view range, which basically all it does is that if you look at this block, it will always be visible no matter how far I am. Or if I disable this setting and I place a block, you can see that after some distance it disappears to look nice from far away because people can use a spyglass or a zoom mod. And of course you can disable bubble bench crafting, which all it does is basically if I drop a bottle, it will not work, but if I enable it back, you can craft a bubble bench. Now maybe you don't really want some blocks, for example, for example you don't like padlocks, what you can do is you can actually hide it. Now for example I want to disable an item which is called padlock. Now if I reload, you can see that it disappeared, so you can't craft it anymore. Now even though the padlock disappeared from here, I can still give it to myself using commands, which is which can be helpful for server owners to maybe restrict certain items to certain players. And of course, if you want to get that item back, you can you can just delete this entry. So I just say padlock, I reload again. And now it's back in the list. So that's all for 27. I've done a lot of work on it and I think I'm almost done. So pretty soon I'm pretty sure I'll start preparing to release this data pack. See ya.